What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to another one of our previews. Well, let's go to Santa Anita, Tuesday, December 26th, race 10 on the card here, the LeBray Stakes, grade one, race seven furlongs, $300,000 a purse for the three-year-old Phillies. Boy, I thought this was a really tough one, guys. Uh, you could go a ton of different ways in this one. I really sat here and debated it for quite a while. I, I just see a lot of speed signed on, and I think at the end of the day, that speed will help the number nine clearly unhinged enough. I think being breaking from the outside, being able to kind of stock the pace in here is going to make a big difference. And, and I think the two is going to go, the six is going to go, maybe even the eight. I think the nine can kind of just sit in the catbird seat and pick them off late. You know, nearly won the test last time out, ran in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint, got six, but this is a much easier spot. So number nine clearly unhinged for me. Uh, I, I think the horse will get a perfect trip. The number two, Daddy's Ruby, will be second for me. Uh, another one, man, I, last time out just ran so well. Earned a huge buyer speed figure, huge time force figure, or whichever you want to look at. I don't know. Uh, is the fastest horse in the race and draws an inside post? I think that's going to help. Uh, I was getting ready to say, though, I don't know if she'll be able to hold on. A lot of pace pressure signed on here, but I do think, you know, she's got a chance to to kind of be clear turning for home. So the number two, Daddy's Ruby, I think will be tough as well. One horse that I do think will come off the pace for uh, just a little bit is the number three, Hal. Brad Cox brings this horse over after two wins. Last time out, won a stakes at Laurel and also won on debut at Keeneland. Flavian Pratt had the mount on that uh, race at Keeneland. It will have the mount here as well. So I think number three, Hal, that's another one you might want to look at here. Um, Again, I think we'll come up from a little bit off of it, and I think that's a good thing in this race. Both races uh, had enough speed to get position early and then made the move at the top of the stretch. So the number three, Hal, going to be in third for me. And then the number four, Big Pond, in fourth for me. Second off of the layoff here, ran an allowance last time out to kind of prep for this. Another one that I think will come um, kind of from off the pace here, I think, a three and four could be sitting pretty close together. Frankie DeTori gets them out for Tim Yakteen here. I think the this horse's best race will be good enough in this spot. I mentioned that allowance race last time out facing older. It was disappointing she didn't win, but it's a nice race to kind of build off of and move on into this one. So the number four, Big Pond, going to be in fourth for me. I think this is going to be a very good race. I'm going to go deep in the pick fours and the pick fives here because I think this is really going to be a toughie uh, second to last race as well. So I'm going to have plenty of coverage in this one. But on top, I'm going to go number nine, clearly unhinged. Second, number two, Daddy's Ruby. Third, number three, Hal. And fourth, the number four, Big Pond. All right, guys, that'll do it for a preview of the Libre Stakes live from Santa Anita, Tuesday, December 26th. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe. You really like it. Want to get alerted. Anytime we do videos like this, and most importantly, good luck if you're playing Santa Anita on Tuesday.